quick. Drop a like and subscribe to the channel in the next five seconds or all your skins will get deleted when you next log into Fortnite. Don't risk it. Yo, what's going on guys? It's Ben Fen here. Welcome back to yet a brand new video onto the channel. In this video, I'm going to be telling you how to play Fortnite Mobile in Season 7 as Fortnite Mobile is now back. So make sure you watch until the end of the video if you guys want to find out how to play Fortnite Mobile in Chapter 2 Season 7. But just before we do get into it, I would like to let you guys know that I do give my subscribers free skins and whatever they do want from the Fortnite item shop, including the Season 7 Battle Pass. So if you would like the chance to get a free gift from me in Fortnite, all you guys have to do is just drop a like on the video and subscribe to the channel with the post notification bell turned on once you've done that comment down below your epic games username so i can add you guys on fortnite and of course send you a free gift and if you want to support me be sure to use my support trades code in the fortnite item shop it's ben dash fn hashtag add hashtag epic partner and if you use my code comment down below saying i use your code and i will give your comment a heart but let's actually take a look at today's item shop we've got the master chief bundle back in the shop with the master chief skin we've also got the battle legend back bling right there We've got the Gravity Hammer Pickaxe. We've also got the Unsk Pelican Glider and the Lil Wharf Hog Emote, which is honestly super insane. Also, guys, in the shop, we have actually got the Marius skin with the two edit styles, as you can see. Also, guys, we've got the Victoria Saint skin with the Slayer's Saddlebag Back Bling. We've got the Stake and Stalker Pickaxe. The Sizzle Sergeant skin. We've got the Grill Sergeant skin as well. We've also got the Sizzling Emote, as you guys can see. And guys, we've got the Grill Sergeant skin. Yeah, like as you guys saw, the Sizzling Emote. We've also got the Flap Jackie skin with the Nibbles Back Bling. We've got the Growler skin with the Woof's Back Bling as well. We've got the Jack Spammer Pickaxe. We've also got the Poofy Parasol Glider. And we've got the Maven skin back with the back bling we've also got the astro assassin skin with the cryo hops back bling guys and then we got the sacking emote as well which is pretty sick guys take a look and then we got the flow emote as well guys as you can see for 500 v bucks which has come back and it was introduced in chapter 2 season 4 we've also got the eureka emote as well and yeah guys we've also got the ferrari bundle with the Medena icon skin the Mar the Marinello racist uh, the Marinello racist skin. Sorry guys, we've also got the Ferrari Turbo Back Bling, and we've got the Mecha Multi Bundle with the Mecha Multi skin, the Multi's Backpack Back Bling, the Space Snake Pickaxe, which is actually super nice. We've also got the Get Swifty Emote as well, and the Look at Me Wrap as well, which is honestly pretty insane. So yeah, let me know what you actually think of this bundle. And then we got the Wonder Woman bundle, as you guys know, the Wonder Woman skin, the Diana's mantle back bling, the Athena's um, battle axe pickaxe, if I say so, the Golden Eagle Wings glider, the DC Trinity loading screen, and of course, guys, we've also got the bracelets, um, like built-in emote. So yeah, we've also got the Dark Fire bundle back and a brand new Vox Hunters Quest pack. Let me know what you think of it, and if you are buying anything, be sure to use my code. It's Ben Fn. Hashtag ad, hashtag epic partner. But guys, the reason why you actually did click on this video is to find out how to play Fortnite Mobile in Season 7. And this is the right video for you guys because Fortnite Mobile is actually now back and you can actually go ahead and play it if you are on iOS. Of course, guys, Android users have always been able to play it. There's never been a ban for Android users for, of course, um, playing it on mobile. And of course, guys, there was actually a ban for iOS users, if you didn't already know, back in like 2020, I believe, or the end of 2019. It's because Apple and Epic went into a lawsuit and they had a disagreement over like a payment system. So they went to court and this wasn't that long ago. This was around a month or two months ago. And basically, guys, it's still being decided whether Fortnite Mobile is fully returning on the iOS App Store. But of course, guys, the reason why you clicked on this video is actually to find out how to go ahead and play Fortnite Mobile on iOS without it basically being on the App Store in Chapter 2 Season 7. And this will still be working in Chapter 2 Season 8. So make sure you keep on watching this video without skipping, guys, because it's going to be absolutely insane. So basically, guys, of course, 
as of right now you can't actually go on the ios app store and basically get um fortnite which is super sad you can actually do it but only if you've installed Fortnite before. So you can go on your like past purchase apps and games. And you will be able to find Fortnite and install it. But it will be stuck in like chapter 1 season. I don't even know what season it would be. Maybe I think it was chapter 2 season 3 actually. I'm not too sure. But basically guys of course we just can't play on it. And yeah it will be stuck in a season. You won't be able to update it right now. But guys, there's a way to actually play Fortnite Mobile, the updated version in this season. And I'm basically going to be telling you the method right now. So basically, guys, what you can go ahead and do is actually play Fortnite Mobile, guys, on GeForce. Now, if you don't know what GeForce is, it is basically like a cool thing where you can basically play games look at settings it's basically what pc players know and pretty much you can go ahead and basically play fortnite on iphone and ipad using this method in this season or literally any season so basically what you have to do to play it through nvidia is connect your iphone or ipad obviously to a stable internet connection make sure guys you have got good internet or this won't really work that good of course, you also need to set up a NVIDIA account to access GeForce Now, which is what it's called. It's called GeForce Now. And basically, guys, once you do set up an account, there will basically be a GeForce Now added to your Safari browser. So you need to add the GeForce Now to your Safari browser. And once you've basically done that, you will be able to have it installed and you'll be able to log into your NVIDIA account and add Fortnite to your library. Now, once you've done that, you can open up Fortnite, log into your Epic Games account, and you should be all set to play Fortnite Mobile. And if you head over to your career, you'll still have all your victory royales for solos, duos, squads, LTM, everything. You will go over to your locker. You will have all your skins, all your pickaxes, and everything. You'll even still have your V-Bucks as well, which is super insane. And yeah, guys, basically, you just want to go ahead and do this method through GeForce Now in the video, and you'll basically be able to play Fortnite Mobile, which is super, super insane, guys. Let me know what you think of it, and let me know, guys, do you actually want Fortnite Mobile to be back on the iOS App Store? And if you do, guys, were you an OG player for Fortnite Mobile, literally back in Chapter 1? Because I believe it did get banned in Chapter 1. I don't remember being able to play Fortnite Mobile in Chapter 2. I remember playing it on my iPhone 7, and it was tons of fun. But yeah, guys, that is basically the video. I hope you did enjoy it, guys. A friendly reminder to use my support trades code in the item shop if you want to support me. It's Ben Dashafen, hashtag ad, hashtag epic partner, guys. But that is basically all I have got for you guys today of how to play Fortnite Mobile in Chapter 2 Season 7. Because Fortnite Mobile is technically back, guys. This isn't clickbait. And I hope this video did help you out or you did enjoy it, guys. Thanks for all the recent support on the channel. Make sure you actually go down below, follow all my social medias and my subscribe to my second channel where I do like shorts and stuff. But yeah, guys, that is basically the video. Make sure you share the video with everyone you know. Go down below, drop a like and subscribe to the channel with the post notification bell turned on and i'll catch you guys in the next video peace